Introduce yourselves, please. Left to right. J. J. I'm Aristotle, music producer, business owner, entrepreneur, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm KD. Um, I'm a Libra. I like long walks on the beach. Um, you know, travel, and things like that. You know. <laughs> Jay. So that was dope. Okay, so tell us what is the Fuck Fame movement and the No Gimmicks tour? Oh yeah, man. Fuck Fame is just pretty much a lot of people do music for fame. You know what I'm saying? You start sounding gimmicky, you start, you know, making nursery rhymes and all of that. So it's pretty much Fuck Fame, man. Like, literally. Fuck Fame is all about the friends, trying to get money. I don't care if I ever get on TV. Let's get paid, nigga. You know, that'd be a plus, but it's not necessary. So the whole no gimmick thing is, I ain't talked about nothing I ain't never been a part of. And nowadays, you got a lot of artists, I ain't calling them names. But you get a lot of artists that, you know, say something because they heard the next person say it. Something like that. So, you know, everything is 100% original. Okay, so when you first, like, how did you get into this? You used to write co for commercials or something? Yeah, I used to do jingles. I was rubbing, you know what I'm saying, on the side in high school and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much, I made it a jingle. Started taking off and um, got introduced to the tour, our Best Buy tour. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay, that's dope. Yeah, did that and uh, ever since then, it's been like, yo, this is something that I'm Okay, I was going to ask, so how did that like help your career? Oh, yeah, it really helped. I was actually, that was my first time ever performing uh, on stage for like almost 2,000 people. Wow. That was crazy. Y'all travel all the time, you go to different places. What is it, what is the experience like? performing in other places versus performing in Atlanta? Uh, it's pretty much a reception. You know, at first people kind of be like, oh, I ain't rocking with it. And then you should come on and it's like, oh, okay. Right. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I, can't, I can't deny it. So, you know, not even too on or nothing. But, you know, it's, it's been a great reception. You know, reception of the so, what makes you guys different from other Groups or movements or what have you. Anybody, anybody can answer. Consistency. You gotta be consistent in whatever you want. Most people give up. They be like, this is not working. Tired. Or they want to be late. They want to progress. So this man has been consistent for years. Ever since I met him, really all of us. Long no story short, it's just like from day one, it's been a bunch of great individuals who decided to link up. Mm -hmm. Like that's just what that is. Like when I before I met everybody, we was all on a solo tip, but we just decided to just link up and go ahead and take over. Like it is what it is. Like we all got our own hustle, got our own grind, but we decided to put everything together, and then now. Look at us now. We go. We about to take over shit. We just. We just do what we do. We know it's gonna be hot because that's what we strive for. We strive for greatness. Point blank. Like, period. That's all it is. Yeah. When you sleep, we work. So it's, it's the level of talent. Um, we look at most groups and most clicks and most collectives. You know, they kind of trying to pick back off of one person. And one person trying to kick the door in and, and kind of make the movement work for everybody else. Mm -hmm. And you know, in this kind of situation that we got going on here, everybody is talented enough to kind of make their own way, make their own path. And that's kind of what's been happening. I mean, you know, you look at Rule, you look at Sado, you know, Paul Reveal, and myself, KD, we all kind of got our own thing going on, and we all brought it together because it was like, man, everybody's doing something so big. It's like, it's only right to do Real talk. Yeah, you supporting me today. 
I don't care who makes it first. You feel me? Like, I can make a spot. Yeah, I was going to say that you guys support. Like, the, the vibe and the aura you're giving off of the support is really, really great. Because you don't see that within a lot of African-American communities, period. Especially hip-hop. So, you know. Like, and I think that's what separates us from the rest. It's about me and my brothers moving on. You know what I mean? Or my brothers and me. Whichever comes first. You know what I mean? So, that's what makes us different from the rest. We don't worry about this shit. That's why, like, a lot of us get, like, fuck fame tatted on us. Because it's just, like, he got it on his arm, my nigga style. I got it on my chest and shit. Like, so, because we don't care about that. It's about making that bread. A lot of niggas about trying to be seen or whatever. Trying to be heard. No, fuck that. You ain't got to know me. I'm going to get my bread, and I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? That's how we do it. At the end of the day, it's all about the music. Like, the music ain't got that. None of that shit's mad at me. Fuck your ego. You gotta love it. You gotta support it. You know? But at the same time, you gotta make that fucking crazy. At the same time, most, most groups have that one dude. You know what I'm saying? I ain't the hottest person out of all. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably the wackest out of all of these guys. I'm keeping it 100. Nigga, stop. It's real, though. You know what I'm saying? That's real. And that's how people get ahead. You know, that's how you succeed. You support each other and you help each other. Um, we always talk about, you know, the trials and tribulations, the hardships that, you know, you guys go through, especially as upcoming artists. What do you get to do to turn up? What, where the groupies at? Where the girls at? Like, what's going on? Tell me about that stuff. <laughs> how you keep them away? That's a, I like your response to that. I go to, the, I go to the club. I'm always at the club. Fucking hell club. Like, that's where you can find me. Like, if I'm going to see what the fuck like, <laughs> That's where I'm at. It's all about fuck all that. Like that. Even with that, I feel like I don't deserve to have groupies, man. You, know? you, you gotta get your shit together first. Now get your shit together first, man. Have all that shit together. And for real, once you get all that shit together, you don't want those fucking groupies. You don't want someone right beside you. Wrong, lay loose, and support what you want. Not take some. You need to bring some. Exactly. So, all of that. That ain't. ain't never. That ain't never much. I don't know about these guys. I've officially met the smartest rapper ever. <laughs> yes, you guys are. Loyalty over everything, man. Fuck that groupie shit. Like, honestly, I'm with my nigga Paul, man. Like, them groupies be there when you hot. But when you not, they gone. Like, fuck that. I want someone that's loyal. You're like, stay loyal to me. It's, it's whatever, but until then, like, fuck that shit. Like, me and my niggas, honestly, we about kicking and having fun, getting money. Like, that's just what that shit about. Like, a lot of folks, about that goofy shit, about that one night shit, and they just be like, yo, don't get me wrong, that shit's awesome. But also, we just be like, Herbs has some groupies, that's why he said it's awesome. We just bought that shit, though. We just bought releasing the shit, you know what I mean? Just going out, just doing it, you know what I mean? Like, all that, all that other shit, I'm cool with, but I don't need that shit. Put it like that. Like, I'm cool with all that groupie love, but I don't need that shit. That, that don't make me, you know what I mean? Okay, so well, what you been, what you have an experience in being a, a delectable chef, <laughs> what, what, kind, what would you make, what kind of meal would you make your girl for like a first date or something like that? Groupie, honestly, it's what no, 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 groupies don't get dinners, goddamn. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, my, my girl, girl shorty over here. My girl love Italian food, so whatever she wants me to do, from no key to pasta or whatever, I got them. No key, if they don't know no key, man, I ain't got time to try. If they want nuckets, they can go to Top Chef and like, yo, groupies get the nuggets and shit, like real top. But the loyal ones get me slaving in the kitchen sweat, you know what I mean? That's what it is. Hey, I'll take you, groupie. <laughs> All right. All right, son, so don't be the dad. Now, I know they be talking on your Instagram. I just want to add this. I'm so thirsty. I just don't respond to who you start responding to. You get them responding. Who's responding? Eddie responding. And, like, once you give them life, it's just like they feel like they have a purpose now. It's like, oh, shit. Okay, he responded. I don't know the screenshot. It's like, nah, no. I don't know how to respond. So speaking of screenshots, like as upcoming artists, you know, I know y'all have a lot of girls coming out you. How do you protect yourself from, you know, private moments? I don't talk on the phone. Okay, but what if what I see you know you seen you know you seen on Instagram <laughs> You know you seen on Instagram the girls that like oh they take pictures of your chain while you sleep like that's feel your privacy They don't have a history with me I don't fuck with them like and I made a brief picture like if you don't recollect the last time you seen me I don't fuck with them.
was minding my business Main this man lost my job cause I be robbing these tenants I'm out in Philly with Philly Frack No gallon but we the best I done made a lot of money now I'm practicing safe sex Selling bricks through that YouTube Leaders of that new school Getting money that expensive shit if they have the money to they have and their purpose is in your space You know what I mean? So if you let some shit like that happen to you If you, you, you ask for that Because you need to know what's going on with this person Before you let them into your private space And you just sleep around here I think you might have just started something with that. <laughs> wow, that is that is so crazy. Hit him with the wand, put him back. You know, but nah, I'm fucking with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Really, it's just it's just don't be dealing with like my foot problems. Don't be dealing with don't what you get yourself into. Cause you're gonna be taking yourself up for it. He said no clouds. So, well, you guys are obviously very masculine, manly men. How do y'all feel about the rappers that are coming out now with the nail polish and the things and stuff? I don't have an opinion about it. I just care less what they doing. I mean, you know, this is my way to have a side here. Those are really great answers because you know a lot of people think that you know just because they dress a certain way or look a certain way that they won't be accepted in the hip hop community. So it's really refreshing to hear those type of responses. The world will respect you more if you are who you actually are. Like if you show up and you try to be the next person to copy after them and then flip the script later, it's like, wait a minute. When you came out, you had on J's. Now you got on, you know what I'm saying, red bottoms, the heels, not the shoes. I'm with you. Tell me how much some J's cost. No bull, but all my bitches be shy. I wish these niggas well, cause they be flowing, lyrics be dry. Money on my mind. Give a fuck about this rap shit. Ain't trying to do no time. Gotta get the fuck up this shit. I need this rap as a lane. That's not a rap. I need this Right. Just do you. We got do me. At the end of the day, I won't disrespect you. Just don't disrespect me. Okay, so the tour. Where have you guys been so far and where are you going from here? And you said you're going to Texas next? And then where else? All over, basically. Amazon, iTunes. Everywhere. Uh, Google Play, yes, uh, Vivo, the video's out. Yes, sir. Uh, at, uh, almost at 10,000 views right now, so you know, we, we are working. You know, follow us on uh, Twitter, Instagram, BFFMG, and uh, you'll be able to catch us all from there. Ain't no gimmick shit. Bad like I left something. Looking for my next woman. Trying to get some pussy, cause I know.